Good morning. My name is John Grossman. I'm with SEIU Local 509, and we're a member of the Mass Divest Coalition. That's a coalition made up of labor, climate, and other groups supporting divestment of public retirement funds from fossil fuels. Uh, last week, New York State announced a historic decision to divest its $226 billion state pension fund from fossil fuels. So today, 79 elected Massachusetts municipal officials are sending a letter urging Speaker DeLeo and Senate President Spilka to bring to a vote House 4440. That's the local option divestment bill. This bill would allow independent retirement systems to divest from coal, oil, and gas if they choose to. House 4440 was filed by Representative Fernandez of Falmouth and Livingstone of Boston and co-sponsored by 70 representatives. The Senate version was filed by Senator Pacheco of Taunton and co-sponsored by 11 senators. The bill has been reported favorably out of committee and is simply awaiting a vote on the floor. And now to speak about the letter, here's our political director, Randy Mayo. Thank you, John. Hello, everyone. Before I share the letter, I do wanna say that I'm a member of the Cambridge Retirement System. I worked for the city of Cambridge for 14 years. So I've got skin in the game in, in this, on this issue. I'm gonna share my screen here so we can uh, read this letter together. This is to House Speaker Robert DeLeo, Senate President Karen Spilka, and all members of the Massachusetts House of Representatives and State Senate. As mayors, city managers, town administrators, members of a city council, select board, town meeting, school committee, or retirement board, we call on you to vote on House Bill 4440 and Senate Bill 636 this legislative session. A yes vote would provide a local option to independent retirement systems in Massachusetts, allowing them to divest in whole or in part from investments in coal, oil, and gas. Over 70 city or county retirement systems in Massachusetts manage some or all of their funds independently from PRIM, the Pension Reserves Investment Management Board. At least two of these systems have up to 4% of their assets invested in fossil fuels, um, funds with fossil fuels. Currently, PERAC, the Public Employee, Public Employee Retirement Administration Commission is requiring a legislative statute in order for retirement boards to divest. The reality of the economic slowdown from COVID has resulted in oil and gas forecasts plummeting as coal has. This is on top of the fact that these sectors have underperformed in the market for a decade. They are in long-term decline, putting pension investments at risk. The wave of big oil write-downs started this summer with BP and Shell. Exxon just wrote off $20 billion in gas assets and was recently kicked out of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Pensions excuse me, the energy sector is now less than 3% of the S&P 500 compared to 30% in 1980. The S&P 500 fossil fuel free total return index has outperformed the S&P 500 total return index since the former's inception in 2012. Pensions around the world are abandoning investments in coal, oil, and gas, including Norway, Japan, Ireland, and Sweden. Mayors from New York City and London are calling on their colleagues around the world to join them. In an analysis for 2017 to 2019, Somerville's pension would have achieved 5% higher growth if it was allowed to divest from front funds with fossil fuel companies. Further analysis shows that a longer period, over a longer period of time, the difference grows. Our retirees, public servants, and taxpayers need action on this legislation to give our pensions the local option to protect themselves from these financial losses. By ensuring that our investments align with our climate strategy, our, community, our communities can demonstrate strong climate leadership to achieve a swift transition to a sustainable economy. We urge you to vote on H4440 and Senate Bill 636 this legislative session. Thank you for your leadership and action. 
This letter is signed by 79 municipal officials across the state, including Joseph Curtitoni, Mayor of Somerville, Symbol Siddiqui, Mayor of Cambridge, Michael Herbert, the Town Manager of Ashland, and many others, including from Acton, Amherst, Ashland, Bari, Boston, Braintree, Brookfield, Brookline, Cambridge, Conway, Concord, Danvers, Everett, Framingham, Lawrence, Lexington, Marlborough, Maynard, Medford, the Minuteman Regional Vocational Technical School District Committee, Newton, North Brookfield, North Hampton, Salem, Somerville City Council and Somerville Retirement Board, Wakefield Town Council, Waltham, Watertown, Wellesley, Weymouth, Whitman, Winchester, Winthrop City Council, and the Worcester City Council. Now I'm going to shift gears and invite Corey Alperstein from one of our coalition partners, 350 Mass, to give us a, a quick overview of the global movement to divest pension funds. Corey? Good morning. Now is the time for pension funds to divest from fossil fuels. The public demand for divestment is clear. Around the world, public pension funds are choosing to ditch fossil fuels. The biggest pension fund in the UK, the National Employment Savings Trust, has chosen to divest from coal mining, tar sands oil, and Arctic drilling. In the US, cities and states are starting to jump on the bandwagon. New York State's 226 billion pension fund, one of the world's largest and most influential investors, will drop most of its fossil fuel stocks in the next five years and sell its shares in other companies that contribute to global warming by 2040. Next. These pension funds recognize that fossil fuels are a financial risk. Economically, they are now a losing bet. Oil giants like Exxon are losing stock value while the Federal Reserve is now warning that the climate poses stability risk to global markets. Next. Our retirees, public servants, and taxpayers deserve better. We need action on this legislation to give our pensions the local option to protect themselves from these risky investments in what many in the financial world identify as stranded assets. This letter from 79 elected municipal officials calls on House Speaker Robert DeLeo and Senate President Karen Spilka to bring House Bill 4440 and Senate Bill 636 to a vote in this legislative session. Thank you. Thank you, Corey. We invite um, folks to stay in touch with us and follow us on Facebook. Here's our contact information. And we want to thank you for listening today. And again, we want to urge the leadership in the state legislature to please vote on H4440 and Senate Bill 636 this session. Thank you.